Hey, good morning. Let's do some breathing. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. I'm ready to learn with rise and shine. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode number 38. It is Thursday. Let's get right into the question of the day. Yesterday, we looked at jump rope. Where did jump ropes come from? Who invented this jump rope? So where did the jump rope come from anyway? I went home, I did my internet research, and this is what I discovered. The jump rope might have originated from China. Check out this. This is the Chinese style of jumping rope. The jump rope might have been invented during medieval times. And you can see from this old painting, this girl is definitely jumping rope. It might have been invented by the Dutch. You can see here they have a very unique style of jumping rope using two jump ropes. And some say it might have been invented by the Egyptians. Check out this picture. Hey, wait a minute. This picture, it's a fake. Check it out. This was painted on a wall. You definitely have to take care when you're doing internet research. Be careful you don't get fooled. I could have said something like this. Jump roping was invented by dogs. Or jump roping was invented by cartoon cats. Be careful when you're doing your research. You don't want to get fooled. Hey, check out this double dutch routine. It's extreme. Thank you to the extreme double dutch flash freestyle team by Abin off of YouTube. They are really good. Oh, you're right, dinosaur. I almost forgot. There was an article that we read that suggested that kids invented jump rope. Ah, I like that. Kids do think of a lot of cool things. Way to go, kids. On to Rise and Shine Electric, getting ready to learn. You've got to check in. You've got to ask yourself a question. What can I do today to get ready to learn? Hmm. Now, this might sound like crazy, 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 crazy. Hmm. Now, this might sound crazy, but I feel like going on a field trip. Now, can we really go on a field trip? No. But I did call up our friend Brittany at the Animal Refuge League of Portland, and she sort of gave us a, a virtual field trip. Let's go visit her. Hey, everybody. Um, welcome back to Rise and Shine Electric. I have Brittany here from the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland. It's one of Rise and Shine and East End Community Schools uh, community partners. And she has some really cool stuff to share with us today. Good morning, Brittany. Hi, everybody. It's so nice to be here. Yeah, I actually have, um, it might be kind of hard to see, but I have some pictures on my whiteboard behind me um, of some of our animals that are up for adoption at the shelter right now. Oh, I can see, um, I can see a cat, a dog back there. Yep, there's a few dogs, a few cats. Um, and if you want to see their pictures better, you can check out our website, um, which our website is just arlgp.org. Yeah. Um, and all of our available animals are right on our website. There's a tab that says adopt. Um, and then you can see all the pictures of the animals. And we're actually doing something really cool right now um, called Pen Pals, where if you write a letter to any of the animals that are up for adoption, Mm. then you will get a letter back from the animal. So, no. <laughs> so if anyone's interested, yeah, in writing letters to the animals, um, you mail them right to the shelter. The animals will write back to you, which is awesome. That's great. I love animals <laughs> writing back. That's awesome. Yeah. Super <laughs> cool. This is my friend Marley, the cat with me, if I can meet you. Yeah, I'm let's like, see Marley. Hi. Here she is. Aww. So she's a kitty cat. She is three years old. Mm -hmm. She's just exploring this room for the first time right now. So she's very curious. Oh, yeah. She's kind of looking around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Marley. You know, that's kind of funny. Friendly. Our principal, is his last name is Marley. She was actually found um, as a stray. Um, so she was found outside by herself by an animal control oh, officer. Wow. Um, yeah, so they brought her in, um, and the first thing that we do when we get um, cats or any animal in that's a stray um, that doesn't have an owner is we scan them for a microchip. Um, oh, yeah. So a microchip, for anyone that doesn't know, um, is like a little, kind of like a computer chip, and it goes into the animal like a shot, um, and that way if they get lost and somebody finds them, 
you can scan them and then all their information about their owner will come up on a computer. So that's the first thing we do. And then Marley didn't have a microchip. Mm -hmm. um, so she might have an owner or she might not have an owner, but she's really friendly to people. All right. I'm going to say bye. Bye, Marley. Nice to meet you. All right. We'll say goodbye to Marley. Who is this? Who, this is Precious? <laughs> yes, this is Precious. She is about seven years old. So she's a little bit older. She, I think she's excited to explore. I'm going to like, see if she wants to explore down here a little bit. See what she does. <laughs> this is her very first moment. You're in the classroom. <laughs> so Precious um, is part of a bonded pair. Um, so she has a sister named Skippy, um, who she <laughs> shares a cage with, and she's got to get adopted with her. She come to the shelter with her, her bonded friend, Skippy? She did, yeah. So they were an owner surrender together. Um, okay. So they had a family that couldn't take care of them anymore. Um, so they brought them here. And whenever we have animals that come in together, we always keep them together. So they have to um, go to the same home. They'd yeah, probably be great. sad without each other. That's really awesome. great. Yeah. All right. All right. See you later, Precious. Nice right. to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say hi to Skippy for me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, now, who is this? This is Tigger, you said? This is Tigger. Yes. He's very sweet. He is a little snuggle bug. He loves to be pet all the time. He is about one year old. Actually, he's about 11 months old, so it's almost his birthday. Wow. Um, he's a sweetheart. Yeah, he this, this one's a lot more things. cuddly. He's, this, is a cud this is a cuddly one. He's, he's the cuddler, yes. So in his finality, we would probably find that he's more calm, kind of likes to be a lap cat. He definitely likes to just just relax. <laughs> he it. does like to play though. Get him in there. Get him in there. He's so handsome. Look at him. Whoa. Then, yeah. He looks eyes. like a big cat. I know. He looks like a little lion. That. He's a big guy. <laughs> well, nice to meet Such you, Tigger. <laughs> I'm glad you're, glad you're in good hands, buddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, boy. See ya. Bye, Tig. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Brittany, we sure do appreciate you at East End Community School and the Animal Refuge League and all that you do for our school. Thank you very much. Hey, which brings us to a Power Pens update. I received some more writing around Power Pens and the Animal Refuge League of Portland. So our little puppy here, Jake, who is currently in foster care at the Animal Refuge League, received three more writing samples. So we're up to 14. So keep writing, East End. Keep doing your community service. East End, way to go. Let's take a look outside my window. Hope you enjoyed our visit to the Animal Refuge League of Portland. And again, thank you, Brittany. For now, it's Mr. Dogar saying, do your homework, keep good in your exercise. I'll see you tomorrow on Friday for the Week in Review and another episode of No Way featuring the kindergarten team. Till then, it's Mr. Dogar saying, bye-bye.